In Maryland, there's a multitude of sex offense charges that can arise. The most common place you see are possession of child pornography. You also have what's called a fourth degree sex offense. That's just an inappropriate touching, what's called a prurient intent, that's the word they use. It's not just a matter of pushing somebody, but more of a groping or grasping or kind of sexual uh, motivation or involvement in that regard, whether it's a part of the body uh, that's being touched or more so. There are other degrees of sex offenses, second, third, first, of course. There's rape charges you have as well. There's child abuse involving sexual nature. Um, there's a lot of variations thereof. But the most common you see, and more and more these days, are child pornography. Part of the reason is the internet, quite frankly. 40 years ago, child pornography was the equivalent of a, someone who had a Polaroid or a duplicated picture in a photo album tucked into a drawer. Nowadays, anybody has a digital camera. Any phone can create child pornography. Any media device can transfer that. Unfortunately, many times individuals are on file sharing sites or even uh, social media platforms, even on a phone application, and they're downloading a photograph. By virtue of being a participant in that program, they're also sharing it with other users. And what law enforcement do very frequently is they monitor these sites. They will download the image being shared, even if it's just a small part of it, from your home computer. They will record your IP address. It is the internet protocol thumbprint of your computer. They'll get a subpoena, issue a warrant, come to your house, seize your computer. And if they find it on your computer, not only will you have possession of child pornography, but you'll have felony distribution of child pornography. Even if you never intended to share it with a single person, it doesn't matter the intent. The fact is, by virtue of being part of the community, you are sharing it and facing not just potential incarceration, but being labeled a sex offender, having to go on the registry, and numerous other consequences. Any sex offense, for the most part, carries these requirements. Some have different tiers, they call them tier one, two, and three. From the minimum, it's a 15 year registration requirement to 25 to a lifetime registration requirement if you're a sex offender and found guilty of any enumerated offenses. That's why it's so important. Also with the internet, you have very frequently sexual solicitation of a minor or attempted solicitation of a minor. That's where an individual believes they're meeting someone who's underage for sexual relations, and oftentimes it's a police officer posing as a minor uh, that sets somebody up for that. And that's, again, more and more frequent now. 40 years ago, before the internet, you didn't really have that that often, or at all, for the most part. But nowadays, it's very common. You can go to any chat room within, within no time, find individuals and youths uh, that are online, and oftentimes individuals deemed predators will go uh, explore these routes to try to meet someone young and find themselves facing significant incarceration and consequences. And that's why it's so important to deal with that, to, to, that's why it's so important to address these concerns with an experienced defense attorney that has represented individuals with any number of these charges over the years, knows how to handle them. And it's a very, very delicate situation because unlike any other offense out there, whether it's a DUI, drug possession, theft, no other offense carries the social stigma and moral outrage and shock in the community than a sex offense charge. And someone who maybe we had it was a cry for help, maybe it's something that they were going through in their own lives, someone who's otherwise a law-abiding person will be deemed a predator and criminal and sex offender for the rest of their life if not properly represented and the charges and offenses aren't properly dealt with by a skilled attorney.